Good morning, welcome back. What could be better in the middle of winter than heading down the coast to do some landscape photography? That's exactly what I did in this video. I headed off to the south coast of Wales and I went to Tenby. Quite often in landscape photography, you need to chill out. Just relax, just go to a place which you know is naturally beautiful anyway and let the surroundings come to you. So just take your time to understand what's going on in that particular area. So in landscape probably things change all the time. The light changes, the weather changes, things come in and out of frame. You see things that you wouldn't naturally see if you just went up and took a snapshot and ran away again. And I didn't have very much time on this particular session. So I went and stood in a very, very pretty place on a bay in the middle of Tenby, surrounded by rocks on both sides. There was an island in front of me and I just let all of nature come to me. And I saw things that I wouldn't have seen if I'd just been there for five minutes. Let's roll the VT and I'll catch up with you in the middle of the beach. So I'd done some homework on this particular spot the night before and I knew that the sun was going to come up just behind the island. So I was ready for that. What I wasn't ready for was the fact that the sand was wet uh, and the tripod feet were sinking into the sand. So I had to put it on a timer to make sure that that had no effect on the shot. But in effect, what I was doing was stopping down to F22 to make sure I caught a sunburst and then waiting for that sun to just pop over the top of the island in front of me. What I wasn't expecting though, what I was talking about earlier is because I was just stood there taking in the environment, what I didn't realize is that wet sand is so reflective. But what I was actually getting was a reflection of the island in the sand as well. So not only getting the sand in front of me and then the reflection and then the sea and then the island and then a sunburst, it was all just coming together. All I had to do was wait and then fire the shutter. Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotions Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with
I looked off to my right, I saw another composition. So the cliffs with the houses on top were coming down, making the sea. Off in the backdrop, there was a headland sticking off into the sea. And I thought, wow, look at that, the waves crashing into there. That would be a beautiful composition. And then I realized that actually the rocks were being reflected as well. So because the sun was coming up and lighting up all the side of that wall and the houses, it was being reflected. So again, I had a leading line in from the waves of the left hand side, rocks coming down, reflection in the sand, and then off in the distance is promontory, it's the headlands sticking out. I thought, oh my God, all I've got to do is stand here and fire the shutter, brilliant. on my own and I was I was 100 meters away from the from the nearest house I thought I better get the drone in the air as well and get some drone shots the compositions from the air weren't great so I did get some great video footage and I also took the obligatory selfie <laughs> So I really hope you took something from that. I hope you enjoyed the images and the video footage. Like I said, sometimes all you've got to do is stand in the same place and stand there, you know, whatever you want to do, however, <laughs> depends how cool it is, I guess. Half an hour, an hour, and just take in the surroundings and take your shots based on what you can see, what you can feel in that particular area. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, please. I do like reading your comments. And if you're not subscribed already, think about doing so. Cheers.